What's up campers? Are you looking for a lightweight bunkhouse that's not gonna break the bank? Well, I've got the budget-friendly bunkhouse right here for you. This only weighs 2,880 pounds. It has a 100-watt solar panel, 12-foot electric awning, nice double solid step, and it's got that four to six sleeping capacity inside. Let's check this camper out and let me know what you think. This 19BH weighs 2880, the hitch weight is 320, the cargo capacity is 1420, length is 21 foot 8 inches, the height with AC is 92, the interior height is 6.5 feet, exterior width is 7.5 feet. Comes with a 2 inch ball up front with a removable footprint, 7 pin round wiring with a brake. Manual tongue jack that flips over and you can use a drill adapter, which is the same size as our stabilizer jacks. And we do have four stabilizer jacks all the way around. We also have a battery disconnect switch. Right there is where the battery would go. And we also put the 20 pound propane tank up front, but we literally just got this camper in, so that's inside right now. But a 20 pound propane tank would be up front normally. Going over onto the side, we have our four marker lights at all four corners. They do run off our running lights only. Outside storage, only one access door, but it is a large outside storage area with access underneath the bed on the inside. Fire escape window above that. Gutter system all along the outer edge. Right there's our lipper on the go ladder bracket and up top we have a 100 watt solar panel. Which I'm going to show you. There it is. 100 watt solar panel with a solar charge controller inside to charge up that and help maintain that 12 volt battery. Over here is our 30 amp power cord plug. Down below is our dump station. Gray is okay. Black is for crap. Gray is my drains. Black is my toilet. Low point drains for hot and cold water. Other stabilizer jacks in the rear. And right here is my rear bumper. That pops off and now I can store things inside. That is the first one I've ever popped off on video. Right here is our coaxial cable, satellite or cable, if you want that on the inside. Hard parts done with the wiring. Onto the back with our LED lights. Right here is going to be our water heater, six gallon gas water heater. All we do is go inside and flip a switch to turn it on. Water, right there is our fresh water connection when we're filling up a tank and going boondocking and using our water pump. There's our city water connection when we're going to the campgrounds and using the pressurized water system. Here's our outside shower with hot and cold water. Hot, cold, labeled. All right, that's where the spare tire goes. That is also usually on there for lot, but because it's a brand new, pro brand new product, we just haven't had time yet. Up top in the center of the brake lights, we are camera prepped and wired for it so we can do a backup camera. This 19BH comes with a 12 foot electric awning on it with a nice LED light strip underneath. And we also have a nice screen door. Which I love these screen doors because nobody seems to be able to get into them. There's our furnace exhaust and 120 watt power on the outside. Right there is our outside external propane connection where we can put an outside grill. Two step solid step to get in. Two step solid step. Then we walk in, we're going to see our rear corner bath with a shower
and the fan over top medicine cabinet with a mirror and toilet below close it up you'll see our bunks below the bunks is a fuse box and breaker box and carbon monoxide detector and then we're going into the single over single bunks with lights on the inside 5000 BTU air conditioner couple overhead cabinets this is right above the dinette area into the shelf over top of the bed we have a queen size bed in here with a wardrobe on the right for a closet Right there is a spare tire in the box. Some blackout shades with windows that function and open. So you get that nice cross breeze. Underneath the bed we do have all the storage. Which is the same from outside underneath access. Here is our 12 volt fridge with our little cubby underneath. 12 volt fridge I believe is 4.3 cubic foot with the double door. I love that double door with a cubby up top and another vent here some overhead cabinets right above our sink and kitchen area with a plug up top so we can do a microwave and right here's our Bluetooth speaker down below that's our sink and our two burner stove our hood and our hood vent with some storage underneath. Couple cabinets, a drawer for some silverware, spice rack, and a couple more shelves. Now over into the dinette to show you that and a little overview and pan around of the overall floor plan. But I also want to show you how this dinette turns into a bed. First, we're going to pop off the tabletop. Nicely set that down. Then we'll grab the table legs and store those somewhere. Take that tabletop and we'll put that right in the wood supports. Just like that. Then what we want to do for the cushions is take our back cushions and put those right on the table. And that will make for our temporary bed. Now let's flip that back into a table. We want to take out those back cushions, stuff those down into that framing, grab that tabletop, nicely set that somewhere out of the way for a second. So we can put those table legs back in the brackets. Table, table legs go right back in the brackets, which resemble the same things as what you're looking at at the top of your table. And now we're setting those right into the table mount to get our table back all together. Hey, thanks for sticking around and watching the whole video. If you like these videos, do me a huge favor, smash that subscribe button and keep on coming back. I have weekly uploads of camper comparisons, camper walkthroughs, and I live in a converted van. So come check out my adventures and join my journey. Thanks for watching everyone.